it's Emily with Hardy Soul. Welcome back to our channel. The littlest person in our household loves to have dresses to wear. This summer I made her lots of little outside dresses that were great for the summertime and running around and easy for potty training and that kind of thing. And now that the snow has fallen, it's time to put those summer dresses away and whip up some new winter dresses for her. For my two and a half year old, um, she's very specific about what feels good to her, what she's comfortable in, what she likes to play in, that kind of thing. So the design, um, the fit of her dress, all of that, it matters big time. Hi. So today I'm going to be putting together a few dresses modeled after the one that she wears the most often which is actually one that's intended for like a 12 month old um, but it still fits her so I'm gonna be using that grading it up a little bit so that it fits her for a while and it's just really light and comfortable this is a nice knit top um, and she just really likes wearing it and now it's getting a little small so I told her I would make a couple of new winter dresses for her um, and I thought I'd invite you along to see how I do that uh, when it comes to finding just the right size and the right pattern and the right fabric combinations. Um, I kind of just take what I know that I like or what our kids are comfortable in and make a copy of it. Um, that you know, if I hadn't already picked out the fabric that I wanted for this outfit, I would probably go to her drawer and find a long sleeve top that fits her right now. Um, a knit top is really easy to add to skirt and that would be a really easy way to make a top for a dress uh, and just add it to the skirt which makes it really easy. Alright so first thing I'm gonna do is turn this inside out. I'm a less of a pattern reader than just to try it and try it again kind of person. Um, you'll kind of start to see that as you watch more of our videos. Put right sides together. I'm going to make note of the way that my pattern goes. So I want my pattern to go up and down on the top. All I'm going to do first is lay that out. Now, so what I'm going to notice is where my seams are on this shirt. So that way I'll be able to figure out exactly what pieces I need for this top. So we've got seams up here that connect our front and our back pieces. And then of course we've got the side seams that connect the front and the back piece. So I'm going to just visualize that. I'm going to add in a little bit of width on either sides for, I want it to go to 3T and then also for having enough room for um, stitching it. Um, so about 5 eighths inch um, of stitch width in there. So first I'm going to start with the front and the backs 
And it's okay to use like a marker or a piece of chalk to use on the back side of the fabric because the back side of the fabric is gonna be eventually inside of the garment. So you don't have to worry about it showing up. Plus you can cut over it um, or sew over it and it, it will go away. And then I'm gonna cut this out, fold it over, and then make the second side symmetrical. We've got the back all cut out. Just make another copy of this item right down here. I'm gonna start with a little sleeve. So I know that this is a three quarter length sleeve on a two T, so I want it to be a full length sleeve on a three T, so I'm gonna add in a little length for that. And you're gonna need to decide also how you want the pattern to go. Do you want the pattern on the arm to go long ways or do you want the pattern on the arm to go width wise? And I think I want it long ways. duplicate of that one because I know the other side is just the same. So make sure I get it lined up nice. There. Okay, so those are ready to sew. I'm going to assemble the top first before I get the bottom made just so they know like how long I want the bottom um, and how much space the, the top takes up. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and just start with this neckline. I'm gonna do a nice French hem. All right, after I sew the neckline um, at a French roll, both lines, both of them um, finished off there. I'm gonna put them right sides together. And I'm going to do the shoulder seam and the bottom side seams. Front and backs both put together. So that's there, and then I'm gonna do the side seams next. So we need some sleeves. So first thing we're gonna do with our sleeves is the hem on the sleeve. It's a lot easier to do the hem on the sleeve when it's flat than when the sleeve is already put together. Thank you. 
it's nice to have a little assistant sometimes just to measure and make sure things look okay before you get them all put together. Right side out um, and then place it inside of the armhole so that the right sides are together. So you got the right side of the top here lined up with the right side of the sleeve. So you just stick that inside, line up the seams, and line up the seams here, and I'm gonna use some pins to put my seams in here. So I wanna make sure that these seams here are lined up at the bottom, that way I know that's exactly where that needs to go. So I'll start on that part. All right, so now that I've got all my pins um, lined up around my sleeve here, all the way through, here's my opening. I'm gonna just start sewing from here, that seam that I know connects well. Um, that's where I know to start. to reinforce the armholes to underneath the armpit area as they stretch and move you want that to have a little give so you want that to reinforce it so that a few times um, to make sure that's nice and secure all right so we've got the first armhole let's see how it looks So here is our arm and sleeve. All right, so I discovered that it fit pretty good. Um, I also discovered that my neckline is a little like long, um, and I have a little trick that I use when I finish this garment to make the neckline not so gapping. Um, on her, it kind of pulls out down here a little bit, and I want that to be more secure. So. We'll cover that when we get towards the end of this project. All right, I'm going to repeat the same process with the other arm. Sure that the tops match up, bottom. Again, I'm going to start on the bottom seam because I know that that's certain that matches up.
front top of a future dress. And I know that the arms fit her well. Um, the neckline I need to adjust a little bit. It's a little bit big for her. So one of the tricks that I've kind of learned um, in doing this is either I could add some elastic in this neckline here, or I could use um, just some little gathers, add a nice little design. It'll look pretty um, intentional when you do that. So you can either tuck them in like this um, or something like that. So we'll see what we want to do at the end. Um, I am going to try this on her one more time just to see where this um, bottom part falls uh, so I know how long I want the skirt and if I want to cinch this up in the end or how I want to work that. So I'm going to give her another try on and see where this lands on her. Okay, so the next thing we want to do now that you got the bodice built is to build the skirt. So I have this little skirt here as my sample. Um, I want it a little bit longer, kind of cover her knees. Now since this fabric is so thick and this is pretty thin, I might double this up uh, just so that it has a little bit more consistency with the top. And so what I'm going to do is just sort of take this skirt and uh, what a skirt generally is, is just two pieces of fabric, rectangles. You sew the side seams. Like you see here, you sew the side seams. And then you cinch in the waist, creating that gather in the waist. So since I wanna double my thickness of this skirt pattern, I'm going to cut out four pieces. So I think this is a good width, giving myself some uh, seam allowance and the hem. I'm going to go ahead and cut four. Another way to make sure that you're getting the exact same length all the way across a piece of fabric is to simply start where you know the measurement is correct and then do something I love to do. That makes the line exactly straight across. Now you just drop your jaws, right? All right. So then we want to make cut this in half. So we put this together here, and we know that this is half. So we're going to cut here. Again, I'm going to do the same thing. A nice cotton fabric will do that, will rip. This kind of fabric will not, however, do what you just saw with the cotton. This you will need to cut. All right, so we got our little pieces here. Let's see how wide we want these to be. Get my side seams kind of connected to where this side seam would be and you kind of measure out here and see how wide this skirt is and this is a pretty accurate of how wide I want this to be so I'm gonna cut about half actually before you rip just like that all we're doing right now is taking both layers and sewing along their side seams here. So we're gonna side, um, sew those side seams up on both of the layers. So we've got now two skirt pieces and so what we're going to do next is put these pieces right sides together. So I'm going to leave one piece inside out. I'm going to turn the other piece right side in. And then I'm going to Put these layers together by opening up this inside out layer 
in inserting this right side out layer so that the right sides go together. And just line up the side seams. And since we cut them all even, they are going to be the same on the top, on the inside, and on the bottom. Which is the nice thing about ripping it because you know you're pretty accurate. All right, so then I'm going to go around and sew around the skirt. So I'm sewing the inside and the outside layers together. Alright, so from that, what we've created, if you turn these two inside, outside in, rather, is this. And you're gonna say, what do I do with this? This looks strange, right? And yes, you're right, it does look strange. So what you're gonna do then is hang on to that top seam that you just sewed those two layers together. And you're gonna tuck this one layer inside the other layer. Kind of the opposite of what we just did to sew the top. What I did was um, I sewed the bottom seam. And now you can always sew that up more if you want. Um, I am going to leave it like that. I'm gonna use this raw edge of this fabric to attach to the bodice. Now you're gonna say, look at this bodice. This bodice is only this wide and the fabric is out here. How is that all gonna fit in here? Well, what we're doing is gathering that in. Um, and sometimes we would use elastic, sometimes we'll just use the stretch of the fabric itself. And I think that's what I'll do in this case is just utilize this um, in order to create some stretch so the garment can go on and off easily. So what we want to do first is line up the side seams again, find your sides, the true sides, um, and then we want to do things right sides together again. I'm going to turn this inside out. And I'm going to slide this garment inside the bottom of the skirt so that I can find my side seams up here and line those up. You can see I'm working on both of the side seams first and then I'll work myself around gathering all of this fabric around the pink top. So don't worry, it's going to take you a little bit of fidgeting to get that all in there. You can also use a gathering stitch to get this um, already gathered up. I'm just trying to skip steps. I've got a conference to pack for and get on the road to today. So I'm just finding the middles of all of these fabrics and matching those up in the beginning. And then I'll fit everything else in after I find those. And you're just going around then and just finding the middles and attaching the middles to the middle of the pink, um, creating my gathers that way. And you can fold the gathers all one direction if you like. You can fold them both outward 
you can fold them both inward, you can fold them all going one way. Um, it's totally up to you how you want the garment to look in the end. go this way and then just put a pin in there. around the waistline. What do you think? Does it look good? So for the front neck, all I did was tuck in a couple of pieces in these layers here so that it gathered up the neck a little bit and didn't create such a gap. I'm just gonna pin that and then sew that. Just like a combine. Thank you for joining us today as we put together this little dress. <laughs> Don't forget to subscribe so that you can follow along and see all of our projects and our fun things. And thanks for stopping by our handmade home. Have a great day.